Another super common form combination is going to be the box and the prism, and you're going to use this for all kinds of things. Um, I find it incredibly useful, especially when you're getting into designing buildings and drawing people and so on. You can do simple things with it, like create a ramp by connecting corner to corner. Now I have a ramp. I can stick that ramp on the side of a building or whatever. I can do things like create splits in a 2x4 or a piece of wood. I can take my little 2x4, run it back in space, and then I can create little V gouges, right? That split as they go back. I can do that on the top and on the bottom. And I probably need to be able to do both, right? And those V gouges can run the whole length, or they can not run the whole length. If you're drawing a V gouge in this direction, one of the things to pay attention to is if I have the angle, this is my split that I'm going to gouge across. I don't want to go at this angle for the V gouge because that angle is just a continued straight line and that tells me nothing about form. So I want to go down and back up and across. And that's going to tell me more about form, right? If I do a shallower gouge, like I go across this way and I gouge this way, That's also going to tell me a lot about form, because I can see where the bottom of that gouge is. So this is just something to pay attention to and make sure not to do that, otherwise you can't really go wrong. Cars, right? You want to be able to draw vehicles, probably. So if this is kind of the passenger compartment of your car, you're going to need to be able to give this guy a windshield, right? And change the angle of the back of the car. Oh, here's another good V-gouge. This is going to wind up showing up in your head. When you get into human anatomy, you're going to need to v-gouge out a little spot for the eyes to go. And your nose is going to come out somewhere right here, right? You're going to be able to put your eyes inside that v-gouge and know where your eyes are. You're also going to use this for houses, right? You're going to lay out your house. And then you're going to need to be able to put a roof on it, right? So this we did a three-sided house, but same thing if you draw a two-sided house, right? So we can see the top of the house. You're going to need to see where the roof line is, right? And how that all relates. Okay, so the box and prism is going to be incredibly useful, and you're going to you you're going to find applications for this basically everywhere, and you can do organic and inorganic versions of these, and we'll get into that more when we talk about specific object drawing.